Chandler Guo, a big Ethereum miner, wants to keep the proof of work chain, Ethereum proof of work, wants to keep it running. Right, Ethereum is going to upgrade to proof of stake very soon, which is a better system that has been planned and worked on for many, many years, tested to death for many, many, for a long time. This is not a haphazard thing. Ethereum, the whole community is aligned, moving to proof of stake. It will happen. It's going to happen. Probably 17, September 19 without a hitch. However, there could be another slight delay. Who knows? Probably not, but maybe. There could be a glitch when it launches and some things they need to fix here and there, but it's, this thing is baked in. Now, but this Channeler Guo, you know, the new system with Ethereum is there's going to be staking and not mining. That mining is the processing of, uh, you know, puzzles to solve a puzzle, the way Bitcoin processes transaction. We're moving away from that on Ethereum. So the people who own those computers and do the mining, eh, they, maybe they don't want to see it go, even though it's been in the works for many, many years. So this guy, Chandler Laguo, and his army of asses here, apparently, you know, he wants to keep it going, so he wants to create this fork. Well, I'm going to tell you why it's not going to work. Why, I mean, it just is not, and I don't even mean not going to work in the long term. This is stupider than the other forks in history, right? Let, let's talk a little bit about the other forks and I'll explain to you why this Ethereum fork is even worse than those as far as having any hope of it doing anything good. And I'm also going to talk about this guy, Galoy, uh, Kevin Zhao from Galoy Capital. Not sure how to pronounce it. You know, he's a trader and he's he wants to suck money from the dumb kids who believe in these forks, and they, you know, I, I, I'll get to that. But first of all, just a little bit about these forks, the fork history here. You know, Bitcoin has had many forks. They've all amounted to almost nothing as far as actual value, usage, and adoption. But they do get people, you know, to buy this thing, these things and lose their money. And they've done, so they, the big split was Bitcoin Cash. And you know, so like it was like 10% of the community, most of the crazies, went off with this Bitcoin Cash idea. But even that was very different than what we have today with Ethereum because those people really had a religious belief in their thing with the big blocks and fast transactions with zero confirmations. It was all nonsense and stupid. And we knew it wouldn't work. That is, we who are not stupid. Um, we knew it wasn't going to work, but at least those people believed. They weren't just you know, like these other guys just trying to get money from idiots. They actually believed in their bad idea. And then Bitcoin SV, I mean, I, I like to make fun of Bitcoin SV as being the number one shitcoin of all shitcoins because it is run by a, a scammer criminal. It runs this chain that has no, there's no redeeming value to it. And meanwhile, has a market cap of a, of a billion dollars, which tells you that shitcoins do live. So I'm not saying that there won't be a fork of Ethereum that will have some value. But if there is, then good investors like myself will immediately sell it. It will be at the high at the launch and then a long term go down. I will sell it right at the beginning and make a lot of money from the idiots who they convinced to buy it. Okay. And yeah, whatever. I'll sell it. I mean, it, it, Bitcoin Cash. I think I sold that thing for $3,000 a coin when it launched on Coinbase. Ridiculous. But you know, listen, if you're going to be a moron, fine, give me your money. But at least I'm warning you, unlike these other guys, right? We'll, we'll get to Kevin Zhao here, kind of driving me crazy uh, with his shenanigans. And, and, you know, Chris Berninsky, who I love and follow and usually agree with everything, but he, he made a comment here that, um, you know, last event this big gave rise to Bitcoin Cash following the implementation of SegWit. It was messy. Like, as if this Ethereum, there's no religion. There is no conviction or passion toward the Ethereum proof of work chain. Zero. 
Like, even these people who are saying, oh, it's going to exist, there's a better than zero chance that it will have some value. Like, that's all they can come up with. Like, there's a slight chance there'll be a way that we can steal money from retail people. Like, maybe. That's it. It's not a real... There's no real belief and there's no community behind the ETH proof of work. So, so it's very different than Bitcoin Cash, which was a fight that was going on for months and months. It was craziness. And, and this thing about Tether. There's a non-trivial chance that Tether chooses the Ethereum proof of work chain. Even the way he used, they call it ETH1 and ETH2. Like as if, I mean, come on. First of all, ETH has had how many forks? Like 20. I, maybe it's, it's, we're actually ETH 22. That's not, it's so ridiculous. But anyways, and Tether, well, there's a non-trivial, a chance. But it, Tether's not, it's like some fucking random thing flipping around and they'll be like, oops, we went on the proof of work chain. I guess that was a possibility. No, they, this is a billion dollar company with billions of dollars in stable coins uh, planning for many, many months, telegraphing to everybody what they're doing, and they're launching on the ETH proof of stake chain. Are they, what do you think, they're fucking crazy? And they're not gonna, it's not gonna be like, oh, all of a sudden, we just appeared on the other chain. Like, it's not like that. It's, there's no, there's zero chance that Tether will be on the proof of work chain. I mean, this is absurd. But he's trying to drum up, this Kevin Zhao here, he's trying to drum up some excitement for this E2. Why? He even says, he's like, I says, I'm a, tra I'm a trader. I look at CoinGecko and Ethereum Classic is a top, top 20 coin. It is a shit coin that has no use, that has underperformed, you know, Ethereum by more than 100%. I mean, Ethereum has beat Ethereum Classic by more than 100%, you know, in the long run or since the fork. It's stupid. And he's like, oh, it has value. Why does it have value? Because he can do things. And right now they're pumping the Ethereum classic price, getting the, the, new, the dummies to jump in. And they're going to dump on them. And so I always say, traders don't make, traders don't beat long-term investors. Unless you're a pump and dump scammer guy. Like if he's able to do, get all these people to get into this ETH proof of work. And he's like, well, no, I don't really believe in it. I, I, I do love you know, the Ethereum proof of stake thing. And he's, cause he's, listen, I mean, if he hears some, he's trying to keep his moral head in order cause he's going to dump it the day the thing gets released. He's trying to drum up this excitement so that he can dump on you. So, um, what else guys? Uh, let, let's look a little bit if there's anything else on his post. Cause he's just, you know, um, now, this, if anyone knows, Kevin Zhao, you know, he was negative about Luna and, um, and UST. Okay, so I thought that was, and he spoke out about it, like myself. Um, but I don't know, maybe he was just short. I don't know, has he done anything else? I actually was following him, and now I'm like, wait a second. Has he done anything great other than, you know know what was relatively obvious that that luna was going to go into a death spiral has he done anything else other than that if anybody knows let me know but i'm thinking why am i following this guy and he's a trader <laughs> traders i actually i threw a couple numbers together here you know i picked bsv launched at a hundred dollars in november and then i so i took the price of these other guys in november and to June 2020, I didn't want to take like the price right now because we just had a big bounce. And ETH, Ethereum Classic just went up a ton because the, the you know, I, I believe the only reason Ethereum Classic, it's not like Ethereum Classic now anyone thinks has any real usage value to the world. It's because of all this promotion, you know, all the miners have an interest in, in people believing in Ethereum Classic so they can go to it. Um, and then everybody, all the scammer guys and trader guys want to pump up an ETH fork that would use mining, uh, you know, so they're pumping up these, trying to pump up these prices. So Ethereum Classic has gone up recently. But anyways, at the lows a few months ago, before this scam started kicking in, you know, BSV down 50% since November 2018. 
Ethereum Classic, but it's still worth a billion dollars. Like there's a lot more to suck from retail here. Uh, Ethereum Classic, it's up 250% with the crypto. I mean, like I said, to lose money in crypto, you really got to be a moron. You can buy a terrible, terrible token like Ethereum Classic and still be up 250% in four years. It's a very respectable return. And that's $5 billion of retail money to be fleeced in the long run. And finally, uh, you know, our Ethereum uh, from 400. Oh, I didn't put in the, um, the top price here. This was like 135. This is 50. Ethereum went up to 4,800. Right, uh, which is a little more than 4x. Anyways, up to four, about 4x up. Uh, so Ethereum won. And, and again, and another, another trader, the traders, they, 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 they want to misinform you. That's how they make their money. Most traders lose because most of you traders are not the people manipulating. If you're not manipulating the market and you're a trader, you're the, what's that saying? You're the sucker. If you don't, if you're a trader and you don't, and you're not the manipulator, you're the sucker. So anyways, this whole idea that, oh, the little token, the little, the small caps, those go up the most. Yes, it's possible that a small cap that actually turns out to be something actually could go up more and could beat ETH. But, but look at the last rally. I mean, the winners, the biggest winners before was Bitcoin. This time was basically ETH. Yes, other things did go up more and especially maybe at the peak, and, but not at the bear. And there's times that other things... But there's so many of those. What are your odds? The idea, whose interest is it in to teach you that, you know who makes the most money? The little guys, the, the, the little tokens. You know whose interest it is to tell you that? The pump and dump guys, because they can pump and dump small things. They can't pump and dump ETH. They can bump, pump and dump tiny shit coins. So that's how they get you into it. But look at the, the reality. Look at Amazon. It's the biggest e-commerce. And it keeps making more money than all the others. Google's the biggest search. It makes more money than all the others. Facebook, the biggest social platform, makes money than all... The big guy has an advantage and generally makes more money. ETH is the biggest. Now, okay, Bitcoin is bigger, but Bitcoin's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. They're not doing any development, which is they've got their own problems. Ethereum, then, is the next, is the biggest. And by fundamental activity, ETH is the biggest. And it, it beat most tokens in the last bull run. So, you know, listen, bottom line is this, ETH is upgrading, hallelujah, you know, this guy, you want to buy him another yacht, then you go buy the ETH fork, or worry about Ethereum because they're upgrading, and then guys like this who are better at partying than you, you know, they're going to they're gonna, um, try to create some chaos that gives him value. Don't pay attention to any of it. Ethereum, we're 80% off the highs. I don't know about, you know, buying today per se. We just had a nice bounce. You give it a little bit. But over the next five to ten months, you buy a little bit every month. Your average cost will be good. Five years from now, you'll be very happy. And you will definitely be happier than if you buy shit coins, shit forks, or, you know, listen to these idiots or do trading and jumping in and out of garbage. Okay? So, stay safe and let me know what you think. Comments below. Maybe I made some mistakes. Happy to hear it. I'm trying to learn. I got a link to the Discord below. Go to the Discord where, you know, listen. Give me more feedback. We can have a real discussions. And you give me ideas for other videos. I appreciate that. If you like the video, you hit that like button, and I make, I'm making a video every day in 2022. If you don't want to miss it, you better hit the subscribe button. And uh, also, I'm on Twitter as well. Don't, you know, love the Twitter. That's where we see what's happening. You know, I wouldn't know about this I idiot pumping a fork if I wasn't on Twitter. Here's my Twitter. Don't miss it. Thank you, guys, and see you tomorrow.